Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video about stick commands on your radio. Now, stick commands are something that are actually sent over the link to your flight controller to do a lot of stuff, and you may have bumped into them already. Things like beta flight and iNav, we have had a certain stick combination that has meant that you can go into the on-screen display and you might have used that one already, but there's also lots of others as well. And I've been asked by Roddy, one of my patrons, to make a video about it, and it's a great idea. Now, I have done a couple of videos before about some of the tools and ways that you can do it. A lot of the things that are around are designed for Mode 2 radios like this one here, where the throttle is on the left and the aileron and elevator here on the right-hand side. So for those of you that are Mode 1, 3, or 4, it can be a little bit confusing. And there's a couple of gotchas as well. So I thought I would go through all of them and hopefully you'll get all the information you need in one place. Now, the documentation around this stuff is in the iNav GitHub. Uh, it's not as clear as it could be. What it's basically saying is to detect the three stick positions on the radio, it has to be... 1,000 to 2,000 with a center value of 1,500. And there are all these different things that you can do. You can change the profiles, the battery profiles, calibrate the gyro, accelerometer, calibrate the mag or compass. That's incredibly useful if you haven't flown for a long time and you forgot to do it before you left the house. Trim the accelerometer left, right, forwards and backwards. That's something that we used to do back in the multi-wee days. This is one of those wonderful holdovers. So if you are hovering with your hands off the sticks and the radio middle positions are all 1500, but it still consistently drifts in one direction, you can use this to just trim it a little bit so that it stays still. You can also do things like save and load your missions. And you can also do things like save the settings after the end of a flight. And you can see here that there's a lot of stuff that you may have noticed. The big one that everyone tends to have played with is enter the on-screen display or the CMS, which is this one here. However, there's an awful lot more. But for those of you that aren't doing mode two or mode one, I've had a couple of questions about that. How the heck do you make that work? Well, the good news is that the developers have got you covered, specifically Darren or Mr. D falling with style. In his page, and don't worry, I'm going to put links to all this stuff below, he has all of the sticks here that actually explain how you would do it. And the cool thing is, he also has the ability to change the different modes so you can see the mode that you would be using. And that is incredibly useful if you're not sure about which is which. You can use this as a bit of a cheat. The last one I'll talk about is this one here. This is a great little project. Again, I'm going to put this down below. This was the thing I was talking about initially. It was a little bit of a cheat that you put in onto your radio and you can load it up and it's just a great way of reminding yourself without printing all this stuff out on a piece of paper and sticking it in your battery box how all this works. And initially, and Thank you to him for giving me a shout out on his site. So we're kind of uh, loving each other at the moment. This initially was made for the TBS radios, but now is made also for the TX16Ss, anything with basically a color screen. And what you need to do is download that from this site, stickscolorlcd.lua, and stick it onto your SD card. When you do, go into the system, then we have command stick viewer and here it is running on the radio and you can see here all the stuff here the really nice thing is it's got all the stuff for iNav but it's got the stuff for the HD0 because yep HD0 has stick commands as well and then you've got all these others which is for beta flight so this is a great thing if you ever get to the field. I don't fly missions a lot in iNav. This is really handy to have this aid to remind me how to load and save missions because I don't auto load missions when I'm flying. This is a great way to figure it all out. So I would recommend if you haven't already and you want to use stick commands, have a go. There are only a couple of gotchas with this. The main one is if you have reduced the travel on any of the sticks on your radio so that they don't go down to a thousand and up to two thousand, maybe you've used um, rates or dual rates or something like that, 
then that's going to affect it because it won't see the stick reach the maximum travel. So if you're going to use stick commands, I would set up a mode on your radio so that you have full stick travel for all four channels, and that will mean that you can read it successfully. And of course, if you need to look at what the differences are between the mode two stuff, which is what you tend to find online, and the other modes that are available, check out that website from Darren where he covers all that stuff and it makes it really easy. So hopefully that's a little bit clearer for you. Stick commands are a really good way when you're connected to your flight controller to control the flight controller, change things, load things, save things, tweak stuff, HD zero systems, analog on screen displays. It's something that has a lot more power than you might have bumped into. So hopefully now you're aware of that, you might find that you will use it more often. For me, I only use it once in a while. And that's why having that little Lua script very handy on the radio to remind me of what the stick positions need to be. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.